Hi, my name is Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager here at WD, and today we're going to get a My Passport Wireless set up using my MacBook Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at uh, what, we, what we get in the box. Uh, you'll get your My Passport Wireless. I'm going to go ahead and press the power button, and that'll begin the booting up. And it takes about 30 seconds to boot up. While it's doing that, the power LED on the top will blink white. Um, and the bottom Wi-Fi LED will know this is all done and we're ready to go when that turns blue. Now we include a power adapter as well as a USB cable and you can charge or connect this to your computer with these but we do have enough power on a My Passport wireless right out of the box to get set up. So now that Wi-Fi LED is turned blue and we're able to connect, I'm going to switch now over to my computer and we're going to change the wireless network to uh, from my WD demo down to my passport. And now in my web browser, I'm going to type in mypassport.local, and this will bring us to the web admin page. Now, since we've never set this up before, it's going to give me uh, some end user license agreement. I'm going to read through that and click accept. And the next step is that it wants me to create a secure network for my Passport Wireless. I could change the name of the wireless network, but I'll leave that for the same for now. And uh, I'm going to choose Password as our wireless network name. And because we've changed the wireless security, we've actually got to disconnect from the Wi-Fi and then reconnect again and enter the password. Now this will kick me off of the My Passport network in just a second. And the My Passport wireless network should change to show a lock icon to know that it's a secure network. This will take a little bit of time. And now that it's secure, I'm going to choose to join that network and I should enter a password. Now, once we've reconnected, it's going to give me the option to save this admin page to my computer as a shortcut. I'm going to choose to save shortcut. And now we're all connected and all set up. Uh, if I go to my finder, I will see my passport in the shared section and I'm wirelessly connected to it. But if we go back to the web admin page, uh, from here I can do a few different things, including getting connected to another internet connection. So let me go ahead and choose to do that. We'll go to switch to another network and it'll discover some Wi-Fi networks around me. I'll choose the 2.4. And now I've got a choice between hotspot and home network. If I was in a public setting, like at an airport, a coffee shop, or a hotel, I would choose Hotspot because this adds a layer of security so that all the other computers and devices on that same wireless network don't see all my files and my devices. Uh, or if I'm at home and I want to share with all my devices, I'll choose Home Network. Today we're going to choose the Home Network, and I'm going to join my Wi-Fi here. And in just a moment, this will be tethered to the internet. Uh, in a home network mode so I can share all that content with the with the entire home network. So as you can see getting my passport wireless set up with the Mac is pretty easy. Simply power up the device, wait for it to boot up, join its Wi-Fi network and follow a couple easy on-screen steps and it's good to go. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.